Hi guys, I am going to show you how to check and adjust tapper clearance of your 4 stroke engine. Tapper clearance should be checked and adjusted only when satisfying the following conditions. The engine should be cold. The piston should be at TDC. In 4 stroke engine, the piston comes to TDC 2 times per cycle. So when checking and adjusting the tappet, the piston should be at TDC after the compression stroke. It is because that is the time both the inlet and exhaust valves are completely closed and the tapper clearance should be checked and adjusted at that time. Take out the right hand side cover frame. Now take out the seat cover just by pulling this cable. Remove the right left hand side cover frame. Close the fuel cock and then remove this fuel tube. Now remove the fuel tank by loosening this nut. Disconnect the fuel tank level sending cable. Then just free up the fuel tank vent pipe and take out this petrol tank. Remove the inspection hole plug. Then loosen this cover using the allen key. We are going to open the inlet valve inspection door using a 17 mm spanner. Now we are going to open the exhaust valve inspection door like the same way as before. Now we can crank the engine through this place using a 17 mm socket. Now I am going to show you which stroke the piston is doing. Now just see the inlet valve. It is moving. So the piston is doing suction stroke and this followed by compression stroke and the third is the power stroke and the fourth one is the exhaust stroke which can be seen by the movement of the exhaust valve. Now we are going to set the piston at TDC after the compression stroke. Just crank the engine and look for the inlet valve movement. Once the inlet valve is moving then look through the inspection hole for the T mark. Once the T mark reaches just leave it. Now we are going to check the tapper clearance for the inlet valve. I am taking 0 0.08 mm filler gauge and inserting it. Yeah, it's it's free. It means the clearance is slightly more. And we need to adjust this clearance. We need to set it at point zero eight. So for uh, adjusting it, I'm opening this nut. Just slacken this nut. This is the adjusting nut and uh, adjusting it will change the clearance. The previous one was the lock nut. Now insert the filler gauge. Clockwise turning of the adjusting nut will uh, decrease the clearance and uh, anti-clockwise turning increases the clearance. Just to hold the lock nut using a spanner 
and then adjust the adjusting nut and then feel it once the clearance is okay then tighten the lock nut yeah it's okay now Similarly, we are going to check it for the exhaust valve. The clearance of the exhaust valve is 0.11 mm. So I am inserting this 0 0.06 plus 0 0.05 mm filler gauge and checking it. Actually, it is uh, slightly difficult to pass through it. So I am going to insert 0 0.10 mm filler gauge. Yeah, it's passing freely. So I assume the clearance is okay. So no need to adjust this. The clearance is between 0 0.10 and 0 0.11 mm. So I think it's fine. Just check the tightness of the lock nut. Yeah, it's okay. Now plug the inspection hole. Put back this cover. Fit both the inlet valve and exhaust valve inspection doors. Place the fuel tank. Just guide this vent pipe and um, level sending wire properly and connect this cable. Now put the bolt and tighten this fuel tank. Now fit the seat cover. Fit the right hand side cover frame and the left hand side cover frame. Connect the fuel tube. Just tighten the screw and that's it. Thank you for watching.